today we're gonna look at this beautiful wig pro style that I bet you've never seen before coming up. This wig style was sent to me for this review today by Wig Pro in cooperation with Wig Studio One. You can find this one and all of the other Wig Pro styles at Wig Studio One. If you drop below this video, I'll make sure I put all of the links in there both to this wig style and the other Wig Pro styles. You can go out and take a look at colors and pricing. We invite you to shop at Wig Studio One. If you have any questions for us, please reach out to support at wigstudioone.com. M. Noel is a long layered style with some nice face framing fringe. It's decidedly feminine. It's just gorgeous. Wig Pro is sending me a variety of styles and colors as a part of my ongoing Wig Pro series. Hopefully I'll be able to get around to uh, nearly all of the colors. Now on this M. Noel piece, there's over 50 color options. Be sure to check it out. There's some really delicious looking colors there. I have two of them today. The one I'm wearing is 88R. 88R is a light strawberry with some very pale baby gold blonde highlighting and tips. It just looks like it's been kissed by the sun. Now it doesn't read too red, it doesn't read too gold. It's a very soft strawberry color, more, a more of a honey strawberry in my opinion. This is a rather warm color, but it doesn't read too gold or too brassy. This is 88R. Now the R does not imply root um, on this one. I thought maybe th there was gonna be a root. I don't see any appearance of regrowth on this. It's just a beautifully highlighted color. So a couple of things about the identity of Noelle. You can already see that it's really soft and feminine. It has lots of flips and bends to it. There's contour in all of the right places to give it a nice little coquettish look and feel. I feel really pretty in this style. Now around the face, there's around a five to five and a half inch piece. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna come out and around the eyes and really, really frame the face. I love when I can get a longer style that frames the face because if the front pieces are too long and too straight, it just sort of drags the face down. This one frames the face and really makes your face, your eyes, the star of the show. Love it. Overall, we're between 19 and 20 inches, and then we do have a 10 inch layer here on the sides. And the way that convenes at the front, it just takes that framing all the way down into the layers. So a lot of you out there really don't like a lace front, but you do still enjoy some of the natural features like a monofilament top. This one has a really nice, big, generous monofilament top here. You can definitely th see through to the scalp and I'll show you an inside look at the cap when we do our unboxing. You can part it in any direction along that monofilament and get the illusion of scalp because this is a super light density piece. Now I haven't seen or felt the new piece and we'll do a comparison, uh, but this one couldn't be any lighter in density. Um, each one of these fibers is super baby fine and silky soft. Now what we're gonna sacrifice in that case though is a lot of body because to have body, you almost need a little density to make each one of those layers really super buoyant and bouncy. This one, is, the identity of this style is more of a light feathery texture, um, a realistic density. So if you're out there and you really would love to have a long wig but you're super uh, averse to those thicker wig styles, this one might be for you. It's impossibly fine. It just feels like silky feathers. So what you're gonna see on the top is a persistent forward movement on those layers. So if you like to hair, wear your hair up in a way, you're probably not gonna be able to achieve that on this style. However, because this is just monofilament top, there's no lace front, that forward movement obscures that wig line beautifully and offers just a bit of, like I said, a bit of contour around the eyes and the face. It's really, really beautiful. So on this one, I'm not gonna use my normal maneuvers to get lift and height at the front. Um, it does not need it. 
Now I will say that um, you certainly can get a little bit of lift on the top. In fact, the way the fibers are sewn in, it just gives it a little bit of gentle lift all over on the top, even though that's a monofilament top because there's a bit of contour coming off of that monofilament. That is true with the crown also, giving you a little bit of a higher soft volume on the crown. Gives it that sexy look. There's no permatease on this that I can tell at all. Obviously, we've got the monofilament here, but even around and behind, there is no palpable permatease anywhere on this. So what that's gonna do is yield a very low profile look. So basically, it comes off of the lace front, you got a nice contour, but then around the temple area, you're not gonna get any large volume here. It's gonna be smooth and head hugging all the way through the temple, okay? And a lot of you are really gonna like that because again, that gives it a natural, a natural look. So are you ready to do our unboxing? I have not seen this one yet. Okay, so we have Noelle in the color Rocky Road. I had forgotten almost. <laughs> so let's go ahead and open up Noelle and the typical Wig Pro packaging. Okay. Nice straight style hid hidden away in that box, packaged beautifully. Okay. Hang tag says Noelle in the color Rocky Road. So inside we've got the net and then the inside is the tissue paper to support the shape of the wig. Okay, wow, look at that. Silky. You know, it's really silky and just feathery, impossibly feathery fine, but there's really no shine. I guess I noticed that on this one too. The light just bounces off of it in a way that makes it look like healthy human hair. There's no um, unnatural looking synthetic shine on these at all. Now these layers have been taken down quite a bit. Sometimes that allows a little bit of texture as if to um, avoid a shiny look as well, but there's just no shine at all on these. I rather like that. See, it can be done, right? This is a full synthetic style. It is not heat friendly. Okay, so I'm gonna remove this tag now that I know that it's accurate there. Let's take a look at the inside of this cap. I mean, I could literally fold this up into the size of a small baseball. I mean, it. It's just, there's nothing to it. It feels so lightweight. Okay, I just, that really strikes me um, and impresses me actually, because a lot of times you think a, a long style is gonna need the density and it doesn't. It's all a matter of preference though, right? Okay, there's that full, very generous single monofilament top. Again, that natural density is gonna allow the illusion of scalp through that monofilament material. And isn't that generous? I mean, it that encompasses my entire hand right there on the top. Now at the front, it looks like there's some polyurethane and they have sewn in a little bit of hair right there at the front in, right into that polyurethane strip. Um, and then also obscured the seams by this polyurethane, polyurethane on either side. So I think that's just to give you a nice realistic look because sometimes you can get to where you can see seams and things. And this is very well done, very well done. There's an open ear tab with lots of fibers spliced in there, an open extended nape and Velcro style adjusters. A lot of wefting on this style. And I think now that I'm looking at this cap, I think that lightweight, Light density is really the name of the game here. Um, I don't feel like there's gonna, this is just a one-off or a variance. I feel like that's actually intentional on this style. So that just gives me a lot of hope that they're all going to be this beautiful, light, realistic density. Okay, 
I am going to um, shake it just briefly here. But I think what I need to do is get in there with a calmer. Actually, I'm going to use a fine wire wig brush, one of these, and I'm just going to kind of take, take that part out of the weave pattern. It came out of that weave pattern really easily. You can just tell how light density it is. Wow, that's beautiful. Okay. Well, I didn't have to do a whole lot. Let's see what it looks like on, right? It's always the moment of truth. All right, so I'm just gonna pop this off and pop this one on. Same, identical fiber, super silky, fine. Not a lot of bounce in body, but that's not what this style is about. Wow. What do you think? It doesn't seem to have as much contour in it as that first one, but oh my gosh, if you want a natural density long style with some face framing fringe, I've just never seen one quite like this before. Let's take a look at this color Rocky Road. Okay, so it, it's like a, a medium to dark chestnut brown and it has some lighter brown in there and then some ash blonde highlighting. It's well blended, gives it lots of dimension and interest. And it kind of disappears in the black of my top, doesn't it? So let's just swirl around on the top Swirl around, set free the motion of the fiber. You might bring out some contour. Now this one, you can definitely see, has a little bit more lift on at the front, but this will give you a nice look at that front. So again, I don't think you're gonna miss a, a, a lace front here. This again is just that monofilament top, but wow, they've sewn just a few knots right there at the front into that transparent monofilament. And it has a nice, really nice natural look to it. Okay, so upon exploring this one, I feel like there's a lot of you out there that would love it because you've expressed that uh, sometimes long styles just have too much weight, too much, uh, too much density, too much hair. This one, again, this one has no permatees that I can feel. So I'll go ahead and do a side-by-side -side view for you. Not that they're exactly the same color, but you can pick up on some of the variances. I think that first one has a little more flips and contours, both beautiful. I just know this style is going to work wonderfully with your glasses. Yes, it does. It fits very nice and secure between the ear and the ear tab. Doesn't get in the way. It's comfortable. This is a really nice glasses friendly long style. So I'll do some quick styling for you just so you can get a sense of how it moves, what the density is like. 
and what you can do with this style. Check it out at Wig Studio One. All of the links are below. We'll see you soon on Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One.